Here we go. In the uh, Circuit Court of the 17th Judicial Circuit, Interport, Broward County, Florida, case number CAC 21-8997, Strong Arm Productions USA, Inc., Tramar Dillard, uh, publicly known as Florida, and D3M Licensing Group, LLC, Plaintiffs, versus Celsius Holdings, Inc. Verdict, we the jury find as follows. Count one, breach of 2014 agreement, bonus compensation provision, 250,000 shares. Question one. Did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius breached the 2014 agreement by establishing that Celsius achieved $1 million in gross cumulative co-branded revenues in any 12-month period during the term? Yes. Question two. On what date did Celsius breach this provision of the 2014 agreement? April 30th, 2021. And in parens, this provision was reached on February 2018. Question three, did the plaintiffs prove that the term of the 2014 agreement was extended by the 2016 agreement? Yes. Question four, did the defendant prove that the plaintiffs waived their right to compensation from Celsius under this provision of the 2014 agreement? No. Question five, did the defendant prove that the breach of this provision of the 2014 agreement occurred before May 4th 2016? Yes. Question six, did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius fraudulently concealed information relating to the breach of this provision? Yes. Question seven, did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius is equitably stopped from asserting the statute of limitations defense to the breach of this provision? Yes. Question eight, what are the plaintiff's damages as a result of the breach of this provision? 27 million, 545,000, and friends, 250,000 shares at $110.18. Question nine, uh, this is count one, breach of the 2014 agreement, incentive compensation provision, 500,000 shares. Question nine, did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius breached the 2014 agreement by establishing that Celsius sold a total of 690,000 units of co-branded product through its channels of distribution following the execution of this agreement? Yes. Question 10. On what date did Celsius breach this provision of the 2014 agreement? April 30th, 2021. In parens, this provision was reached on February 2015. Close friend. Question 11. Did the plaintiffs prove that with respect to units of co-branded product, an individual stick counts as a unit? Yes. Question 12. Did the defendant prove that the plaintiffs waived their right to compensation from Celsius under this provision of the 2014 agreement? No. Question 13. Did the defendant prove that the breach of the 2014 agreement occurred before May 4th, 2016? Yes. Question 14. Did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius fraudulently concealed information relating to the breach of this provision? Yes. Question 15. Did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius is equitably stopped from asserting the statute of limitations defense to the breach of this provision? Yes. Question 16. What are the plaintiff's damages as a result of the breach of this provision? 55 million and 90,000. That's 500,000 500, shares at $110 and 18 cents. Count two, breach of the 2016 agreement. Question 17, did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius breached the 2016 agreement by failing to pay royalties under section 5.3 after October 11th, 2018? Yes. Question 18, did the defendant prove that plaintiffs waived their right to additional compensation from Celsius under section 5.3 of the 2016 agreement? No. Question 19, what are the plaintiff's damages as a result of the breach of the 2016 agreement? $5,450. Um, so say we all, signed by the four person on January 18th, 2023, and the four person is, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, I... All right. 
Um, let me ask, uh, Mr. Verdict? Yes. Mr. Sutro Verdict? Yes. Mr. Sutro Verdict? Yes. Is this your true verdict? Yes. Is this your true verdict? And, uh, is this your true verdict? Yes, sir. All right, before I go any further, let me see the attorney's sidebar.